So, hi, it's Tom from Tom's Garage. Hey, we're not in the garage today, obviously. We're in an A330 aircraft flying currently, it looks like, over the Alps. We have about an hour or so to go till we land in uh, Italy. And then we're heading to uh, Monza for the Monza Grand Prix. Yeah, uh, we got paddock passes there and hopefully uh, Ferrari will win after uh, nine years. That will be very exciting. And then we're heading off to some uh, design studios and factories, including uh, Ferrari and Lamborghini and Pagani and Maserati and probably a bunch of other any factories and designers. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it's a beautiful sight out the window. Take a look and we'll see you there. Check out McLaren's F1 team's massive motorhome. This is just one of the many dining rooms in the paddock club. The view of the race from any table. The hospitality suite where they cater to all your needs. They even have a salon for the women just 500 feet from the track. It's an amazing place. Right over the pits. Uh, okay, you come in here when it's too loud. You need some peace and quiet or a conversation. Okay, heading down for McLaren's F1 driver talk. Yeah, uh, well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Jordan. Today, um, no, it was uh, just one of those sessions where if you are out at the right time, in the right moment, you're always pretty fast. Uh, I was pretty comfortable with the car on the way. Um, but yeah, uh, I struggle to believe that we will be P2 anytime during the rest of the weekend, but generally a, a positive session. So is it one of these places that you've just always been naturally good at through, any, through your junior career, or has you just come to Monza and you just feel, ah, oh, right, here we go. I'm at home now, this is, this is my time to shine. Uh, yeah, I would say Monza is one of my favorite tracks, and it's also been one of my best tracks in the junior or series. Uh, unfortunately, here in Monza, in Formula 1 career, I always had great penalties for making changes or anything like that. Wait, please tell me your engine is okay for this round and that is not happening. For the moment, we're okay. Excellent. So sorry, Carlos, to cut you short, but we signed up for the Porsche Supercut driver talk. So let's head on over to the uh, Porsche paddock. Should be starting right now. Having free practice now. Porsche is, um, has free practice in the late afternoon. 0 to 100 km, if you can do a good start, it's in 2.7 seconds. That's a uh, yeah. and top speed here in Monza, about 280, something like this. And you have no ABS, so braking is, is the key here in Monza, because uh, cars are quite heavy, 1313 or 30 kilos, something like this. Um, so 
quite quite difficult to, to, to slow down the cars. Um, not like they don't have that much support aerodynamically, like in Formula One or F2 or F3. So uh, the only aerodynamic thing we can do is the rear ring, but we can adjust a little bit, but it's not the effect you know. Um, yeah, yeah, still, still great, um, all the same. Basically, they will run definitely all new for qualifying because the, this is a little bit of extra performance they get for qualifying. And the Porsche Cup is very close, so you need every tenth you can get uh, out of the car. Um, can I open the front? Yeah. So the good thing here is we have very simple system. Um, we have absolutely no weight in the front. We have only the tank. We run maybe with 40 to 45 liter at the start of the race. And you see there's no weight. That's what makes it really difficult. You have no support from, from the car itself. You have to brake all by your braking pedal. Really difficult. And then you need to carry on the braking. Trail into the, yeah, trail brake yeah. into the corner. That's that's the key here. Um, you have a little bit of fresh air for the drivers. No air condition. You don't want to use any air conditioning ever in a race. Okay, got to get back for the F1 paddock walk. We're here in Monza. Tom's garage is here in Monza. Check it out. We have Ferrari over here. We got Leclerc, and you know Leclerc is going to win on Sunday. You can guarantee that. But take a look. This is just this is the pit walk. This the whole pit walk is just filled with people right now. I mean, I've seen it worse than this, but you know this is practice day. Wait until race day and and uh, qualifying. It's going to be side to side in here but well we'll go up and I'll show you some of the uh, some of the cars sitting inside the uh, paddocks Okay, we ended the day with a truck tour around the whole Monza circuit narrated by an F1 driver. On race day, we'll be in the bleachers with all the Italian fans for the big win. This must be very impressive to drive here around Monza, no? What do you think? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I've raced there quite a lot over the years. It's, a, it's an iconic venue, sense of history here at Monza. You really are driving the wheel tracks of legends, basically. Um, it's such a historical place. It's one of the original Grand Prix circuits. And it's still got that sense of occasion, I think, every time you come back with the banking. And the real the layout hasn't really changed, has it, over the years? It's more or less stayed the same, apart from a few alterations. It still feel like a real circuit, you know, for a racing driver. It's like very tight, it's very difficult to drive, very technical if you go in the stage, you're doing well. And it's, it's like the festival speed because it's one of the fastest tracks. It's a faster circuit, actually. Sta preparando ad un momento di grande concentrazione quello che procede al discesso di pista. Un minuto, un minuto alla parola.